Hey everybody, Keith Mayer, IT Evangelist at Microsoft in the U.S. Heartland District, and today we're going to talk about creating new virtual machines from the Small Business Server 2011 virtual hard disks that you had saved off previously, following the steps on my blog at keithmayer.com, using the Disk to VHD tool. So you've already got those VHDs. Our next, you've already set up Hyper-V uh, Server 2008R2, the free version of Hyper-V. Our next step is to launch Hyper-V Manager, which I have up on my screen, connect in to our virtual host, which I've already done. And then over on the Actions menu, I'm going to select the New option, and then select the option to create a new virtual machine. That'll launch the new virtual machine wizard, and I'm just going to click next to the second page where I can type in a descriptive name for my new virtual machine. This is the name that will appear for my virtual machine in Hyper-V Manager when I'm managing it, once it's created. I'm going to go ahead and click the Next button now, and then specify on the next screen how much memory I wish to allocate for this virtual machine. So I'll go ahead and give it 2 gigs of memory, click the Next button, I'm going to specify the virtual network that I'd like to attach this new virtual machine to. This would be the virtual network that you've previously set up following the earlier steps. And if you want this new virtual machine to be able to communicate with other clients or devices on your local area network, it should be a virtual network that's been set up as an external network. I'm going to go ahead and click the Next button again. And now, instead of selecting the Create a Virtual Hard Disk default option, I'm instead going to use the option to use an existing virtual hard disk because I want to browse out to the virtual hard disks that we had previously created using Disk to VHD and then select my C drive VHD from my SBS 2011 server. Go ahead and click Next and then Finish. And I've got my new virtual machine set up and ready to go inside Hyper-V Manager. Before starting it, though, I want to make one quick change because I've got an additional virtual hard disk for my data volume on my small business server that I copied to a, a separate VHD file. So I'm going to right-click on my small business server virtual machine, select the Settings option, and then drop down to either the IDE controller section of the settings or the SCSI controller section. I can add in that virtual hard disk as either an IDE or a SCSI controller. So I'll go ahead and select IDE controller. I'll click on the Add button. I will browse out to where that second VHD hard disk is stored. And then I will... Go ahead and click the Open button. Now when I'm all set, I can apply that change. Now I've got my virtual machine ready to go. Before starting up this virtual machine the first time, though, you'll want to make sure you power down your, your physical small business server 2011 machine so you don't have any conflicts on the network. When it's ready to start, I can just right-click, click on the Start button, once that virtual machine comes up the first time, on the Actions menu of the virtual machine, I want to make sure I install the Hyper-V integration services. That's it. Thanks so much for listening today. Talk to you soon.